Meghan Markle mad as Montecito school affirms no record of Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana on student list, no immunization records found. Are the children of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry just a myth? A Montecito school shocking revelation has sparked rumors and online discussions. What's the truth about Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana? Let's explore the story that's got everyone talking. The mystery unveiled. Are Archie and Lilibet real? In the royal world, intrigue and mystery are common. But with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, fact and fiction can mix quickly. A Montecito school report suggests Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana, their children, are not listed as students. And there's no record of their immunizations. Is this a simple mistake, or is there more to it? The story began with a routine check at a Montecito school. They looked for Archie and Lilibet on their student list, but their names were missing. The news quickly spread online. People started guessing. Could the children not exist? Is it a move by Harry and Meghan to keep their kids private? Or is it just another media battle? Upsetting Meghan Markle is not wise. She was furious when she heard the news. Questioning her children's existence was seen as insulting. But did this scandal surprise the Sussexes, or do they enjoy the mystery? They've always kept their lives private. Maybe this is their way to stay in the spotlight while keeping their family's life private. Imagine being in their shoes. The constant scrutiny and questions about your family. How would you feel if people doubted your kid's existence? No immunization records? What does it mean for the Sussex kids? The lack of immunization records adds to the mystery. Schools need these records to enroll students. The absence of them for Archie and Lilibet raises questions. Are they being homeschooled or educated privately? Some think they might be homeschooled to keep them private. But the lack of records is unusual, even for royals. Is this just about privacy, or is there more to it? Conspiracy theories are common in royal stories. Since Meghan's pregnancy with Archie, some doubted their children's existence. Some claim Archie and Lilibet are fabrications to stay relevant without real kids. It sounds crazy, but in today's internet world, anything can spread. Some think Harry and Meghan hide their kids from the public. They stage appearances to keep the mystery alive. Others believe they use stand-ins for public events, while the real Archie and Lilibet live in secret. Is this just wild imagination, or is there truth to these claims? Behind the walls of Montecito, what's life really like for Harry, Meghan, and the kids? What's life like for Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet in their Montecito mansion? Insiders say the family lives quietly, away from royal drama. Archie and Lilibet grow up surrounded by love and nature in California. Meghan talked about her kids in an interview. She called Archie energetic, and Lilibet sweet and curious. But these glimpses only make people more curious. Wouldn't you love to see how they live in their Montecito home? This scandal raises big questions about privacy and public life. Meghan and Harry value privacy above all. But is true privacy possible for famous people? Keeping children private is hard for public figures. The more they try to hide, the more people want to know. It's a tough cycle. So, what can we learn from this? How do we balance our public and private lives? This mystery has left us with more questions. Are Archie and Lilibet the best kept secret, or just a rumor? We want to hear your thoughts. Do you think the Sussex kids are unfairly targeted, or does their secrecy invite speculation? Share your thoughts below. In today's world, privacy is often traded for fame. The story of Archie and Lilibet shows what being royal means today. And this story is far from over. The aftermath, how the public is responding. The public's reaction is divided. Some support Meghan and Harry, seeing this as another attempt to vilify them. They believe the couple is protecting their children's privacy. But critics are quick to point out flaws. Some think Harry and Meghan are manipulating their image. Others suggest a cover-up. It's interesting to see how people interpret the same facts differently. Meghan and Harry's actions will always be under scrutiny. But what does this say about how we view public figures? Has the line between public and private become too blurred? Meghan Markle's relationship with the media has been rocky. Since joining the royal family, she's been seen in many ways. From a modern princess to a figure causing drama, her feud with British tabloids has made her a hot topic. Despite the drama, Meghan has mastered media control. She releases just enough info to keep people curious while keeping personal details secret. Even in scandals, like questioning her children's existence, she keeps her cards close. But is her strategy working? Or is it backfiring? Can Meghan keep controlling the narrative, or will the media turn the public against her? What's next for Harry and Meghan? Harry and Meghan aren't leaving anytime soon. 
They've tried to step back from royal duties and live quietly in the U.S., but they are still in the spotlight. Their deals, charity work, and feud with the press keep them in the public eye. So, what's next for them? Will they fight for privacy or return to the royal fold? Will we see more of Archie and Lilibet, or will they stay protected? This isn't the last we've heard of Meghan and Harry. The world will keep watching and speculating. They may not always want the attention, but they know how to use it. Takeaway, privacy in the digital age. This saga shows how hard it is to keep private in today's world. Even global figures like Meghan and Harry can't escape public speculation. Can anyone truly stay out of the spotlight? The Sussex's story teaches us a lesson. Whether you're famous or just trying to balance your online and offline lives, the rules are the same. The more you hide, the more people will try to find out. The key is finding a balance between sharing enough and keeping what's important private. So, what do you think? Should Meghan and Harry share more about their children, or protect their privacy? Let us know in the comments. The debate over Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana is far from over. Whether you support the Sussexes or question their secrecy, your opinion counts. Share this article, leave a comment, and join the conversation. Do you think Meghan and Harry are right to seek privacy, or is their secrecy causing more problems? Let's keep talking. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's story is anything but ordinary. They battle the media and protect their family, captivating and dividing the public. Isn't that what makes them so interesting? The royal ripple effect, how this scandal impacts the British monarchy. Meghan and Harry's actions still affect the British royal family, even though they've stepped back. Every headline about them brings attention back to the royal institution they left. The question of Archie and Lilibet's status is a hot topic for many. As the future of the monarchy, they represent a big change. Their private lives and recent scandal raise questions about their place in the royal family. Traditionally, royal children are introduced early to their roles. Archie and Lilibet's privacy might mean Meghan and Harry want a different life for them. Or it could show how the monarchy is changing in today's world. Even if their parents stepped back, Archie and Lilibet are still in line for the throne. Their future, whether private or royal, fascinates everyone. This scandal might deepen the divide between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. Meghan and Harry have made headlines before for their children's privacy. They didn't share a photo of Archie right after he was born. And Lilibet's name and birth details were kept secret for a while. These moments show Meghan and Harry are changing the royal rules. They want to protect their family from public exposure. But some see it as a way to stay in the news. The debate centers on how much celebrities should share about their personal lives. For royals, this is even more complex, as their lives are often of public interest. This is true, even when taxpayer money supports their lifestyle. With Meghan and Harry choosing to live privately, do they have the right to keep Archie and Lilibet out of the spotlight? Or should they still share parts of their family life, given their fame? The Sussexes are not alone in balancing public duty and private life. Many modern royals face this challenge, thanks to the digital age. Prince William and Kate Middleton have found a balance. They share photos and updates at the right times, keeping their children's privacy. Their Instagram account lets them control their story, pleasing the public without exposing too much. What makes Meghan and Harry different? Is their privacy stance more extreme, or is it due to their media battles? Maybe their experiences, like Meghan's, have made them more protective of their privacy. But can total privacy be possible for such famous people? In today's world, where fame can lead to viral moments, shielding Archie and Lilibet might be unrealistic. The mystery of Archie and Lilibet's lives is hard to untangle. Are they living in Montecito with their parents, or are they in school under different names? The lack of clear answers sparks endless speculation. The mystery is captivating because of the unknowns. The absence of records opens the door to many theories. Yet, Sometimes the simplest explanation is the best one. Maybe Meghan and Harry have chosen a quieter life for their kids. Given the media scrutiny they've faced, this is understandable. Or maybe they are protecting their children from the pressures of fame. Whatever the case may be, one thing is clear. The mystery surrounding Archie and Lilibet isn't likely to go away anytime soon. And as long as the public remains hungry for details about the Sussex family, the speculation will continue.